The following program was produced by the United States Courts. Hi, welcome to On Topic, where we talk about the programs, issues, events, and people shaping the federal judiciary. I'm Charlie Hall with the U.S. Courts. Today we're talking to Judge Deborah Chasnow in Greenbelt, Maryland. Her court saved millions in building costs while creating an innovative open-air workspace. Judge Chasnow, thank you so much for joining us today. Tell us why the Greenbelt Courthouse needed more space in the first place. Oh boy. Well, when we opened 20 years ago, um, we were told that we were on a site that would last the court for at least 30 years, but the building was built for 10 years. Well, that was 20 years ago, and we haven't gotten any bigger. Uh, we've added judges uh, since we opened, and we've gotten a lot busier. Your first plan was to build a whole new annex building. Why did you give up that plan? We realized with the delay in courthouse construction funds, with the emphasis on courtroom sharing that was getting more forceful, um, that we might design a building, spend $10 million doing it, and never get to build it. And that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be good for a lot of reasons. Um, so we pulled the plug. That's a big shift in direction. What did you do then? Over the next two years, what we were able to do, with a lot of help from a lot of different people, was to reprogram that $10 million from the design, and now we're going to use it to do the major renovations we need to do under this roof to make it livable, we hope, for the next 20 years. Now, you and your staff just moved into the space quite recently. Tell us how you went about planning this project. It dawned on me that as I continued in my role as a senior judge, I might back down my caseload and therefore not need or be entitled to full staff. So I thought, well, let's do something that's a little more open uh, and have some of our staff in a more central location so that they can help all of us when we need it. Now, one of the first things anybody notices walking in here is just how well lit the space is. How did you manage that? I like natural light. Um, I need natural light. I just love windows. And I didn't want to create offices for anybody that didn't have access to natural light. You might not have an actual window right next to you, but you've got natural light coming into every spot here. Um, this glass is every bit as soundproof as a wall would be. So once we realized we could do that and keep the natural light all over the place, I said, Go for it, let's do it. So how is this new space different from a traditional judge's chambers? A judge's chambers has the private office for the judge and we do have that here, not quite as large as our design guide would authorize, but big enough so the judge has a, a desk and, a, and workspace and okay. some chairs. Um, each judge's chambers does have a private bathroom and a little um, coat closet. Um, so that, that part, we retained. What we're sharing are copiers, fax machines, file rooms. We have two large rooms at each end of the, uh, of the office to share because we don't need, we don't each need a big copier, but we need access to a copier and to a fax and to a, a scanner. Now, Judge, tell me about that wall of law books behind you. When we were designing this, I thought, well, we've got plenty of bookshelves in each judge's chambers, but why don't we create a central location for the big collections so that we can share them? It's centrally located and I think very beautiful. I love books, so um, it's a sort of a focal point, um, we hope, for, for this space. Now, I understand that the courthouse has uh, 14 judges but only 10 courtrooms. How do you make that work? We have a lot of different size courtrooms, different size jury deliberation suites, so we will assign courtrooms based upon the needs of the case. Um, once a judge starts a trial, the judge will stay in that courtroom we expect, but otherwise no judge any morning can expect to all be in the courtroom right next to my chambers or for those of us here, the one that I've been in before. Judge, now that it's built, are you pleased with this new chamber suite? Oh, it exceeded my expectations. I'm, I'm really, really delighted. I, it's been a nice, sunny <laughs> time here and yeah I'm I'm real pleased I think everybody's pitched in what's been just infectious 
is the enthusiasm everybody in this project has, has developed. Um, once they see what we're doing, everybody's invested. I mean, I'm talking GSA, administrative office, our clerk's office, the folks who take care of this building, just seeing the cleaning crew loving to come in here now. I mean, yeah, it's, it's really been a joy so far. We've all been very pleased. Judge Chasno, thank you so much for talking with us today. I'm Charlie Hall with the U.S. Courts, and that's On Topic. Join us next time.